first of all, wash and clean your pebbles so that they'll take the surface of what you need um, them to do. I'm going to paint some of them with um, just a little tester pot um, from Wilkinson's but anywhere where you can get one of these tester pots. I'm using like a magnolia colour but you could use white um, or you could uh, use a spray gloss paint, um, it's up to you. But what you want to do is you want to paint your pebble evenly so that it's going to provide a good background for the design that you want to draw or paint onto your pebble. Depending how dark your pebble is, you might need to do one or two coats, but make sure that you let the paint dry in between. And I would probably recommend that once you've painted one side and dried it, that you paint the bottom surface as well, rather than going back to it, because um, sometimes if you paint the bottom surface afterwards, you can, without realising it, go over some of your design, depending how far down your design extends on your pebble. So once you're satisfied that you've evenly painted over your rock or pebble, then just leave that to dry. Okay, so once your pebbles are dry, then uh, pick the pebble that you are going to start with and think about the design that you want to put on it. So sometimes I just go for a kind of freely inspired um, idea. Uh, other times I am careful and I plan out what I want to do. And that's the case for this one. So I'm going to um, take a pencil and I'm going to sketch out uh, my ideas for what I want on the pebble um, before I start to paint directly onto the pebble. Okay, so once you've put your um, design on, I don't know if you can see that the right way around. Um, so I've done mine in pencil. I'm now going to use um, Posca uh, pens. So these are a paint-based um, pen. I like using these uh, because I get very clean um, lines with them. Um, but I've used nail varnish before. You can use acrylic paint. I have used Sharpies before, but what I found with Sharpies um, and other permanent marker pens that when you spray them with the varnish, that the colour can kind of bleed and um, you lose your kind of crisp edges. So if you're looking for a more um, marbly kind of painterly effect, then um, use Sharpies, use um, other permanent markers. Um, if that's the effect you're looking for but if you're wanting your design to stay crisp and if you're wanting your design to stay um, as you've done it then make sure that you're using more of a kind of paint based um, media okay I've done some of the preliminary decoration onto this pebble but now I'm going to go over this red block here, um, now that this um, has dried, I'm going to go over this with my white pen to uh, create the initials WSC.
I'm going to let this dry now and then I'm going to have to go back over it because the red is still showing through on the white but you get the idea of what I'm doing. I've gone over the um, white about four times in order to get the density that I needed to get and I've now um, penciled in where I want to do my next bit of writing. Um, again, I'm going to have to mix my colours because I don't have the exact colours that I want to use. So um, I'll come back to you when I've done that. Okay, I've done the final lot of lettering at the bottom. Um, and then what I need to do now is I'm going to have to let this dry before I can then varnish it. So I'm going to varnish it. Um, I'll just get you what I'm going to use for the varnish. But it's a spray varnish that you can get from um, Wilkinson's. So there's a multi-purpose spray paint clear lacquer gloss finish um, or I think this is the new kind of variation of it. So lacquer spray ideal for creative hobbies and crafting and it's the clear one with the clear top. Um, so that's what I use. So I'll spray that when um, this is dried and then I'll let you see the final version. Before I varnish the pebble, I'm just going to show you the other side of it. I've done this because I'm part of a group called Comfort Pebbles 2020 and we decorate and varnish pebbles so that they can be sent to hospices and to um, COVID-19 wards so that family members can have their messages written on the reverse side of the pebble and um, are able to have something in hospital which reminds them of their family even when the family can't be with them and they're varnished so that they can be um, disinfected when they get to the hospice or to the hospital. Okay everybody so I've varnished the pebble and this is the final version of it. Um, I did several coats of the varnish because it's quite a rough um, pebble. And then this is the reverse side of it and then just to show you another one that I've done on a smoother stone this one's for the NHS and it's on a piece of um, marble stone so I've been able to put things literally on every side of the pebble and then that will go into a parcel um, if it's going to a hospital um, with the other comfort pebbles that I'm going to be sending out.